Hi, welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. Just a very quick update on the Panasonic Lumix GX8. I've updated the firmware to version 2.2 and there's a couple of things that it um, solves and I think I missed version 2.1 but it sort of sorts all that out. There is a slight issue with the camera and it's happened to me once in that if you use the autofocus tracking for an extended period it can lock up the whole camera. Now it happened to me once and it was a case of remove the battery, SD card, switch off, all back, switch it back on again and it was fine. Obviously quite annoying uh, um, and in the firmware updates apparently that has been improved. don't really know what that means but it's only ever happened to me once so it's not really difficult to judge and it's not happened since. So that's that. The more in interesting or more useful update is that the shutter speed has been increased to one, one sixteen thousandth of a second. Um, basically what that means is you've got a built-in ND filter. Now the way the reason I like that and I did a little test today, I went out bright sunshine shooting with the Olympus 45 1.8 and I wanted to shoot at 1.8 even in the bright sunshine because I wanted a shallow depth of field and I'll show you the pictures at the end but what generally happens is that you hit the you know your maximum shutter whether that be 4,000, 2,000, 8,000 or whatever so it just gives you that little bit extra leeway and the way I did it was I set its aperture priority 1.8 base ISO of 200 and let the shutter speed float and let the camera sort that out and it worked quite well and you can tell when you're dipping into these high shutter speeds because it will switch over from the mechanical shutter to the electronic shutter now that can be an issue if you're taking photos of moving subjects but in a sort of a portrait scenario when your your subject is fairly static doesn't actually make any difference and as I say you do notice it and I noticed every now and again as I was shooting it flipped into the electronic shutter because I've got it set to auto because that also solves the problem of shutter shock on this camera if it senses it's in one of the vulnerable spots for shutter shock it will go to switch automatically to the electronic shutter I've used it for a while now and it's worked perfectly so it's just a little update but it is quite useful on a bright sunny day if you're using a fast lens and you want that wide aperture that f 1.8 1.7 1.4 whatever it does allow you to shoot without worrying about blowing your, your picture out because your, your shutter speed is just not fast enough as i say it's basically like a built-in nd filter works really well and uh, that was it really there didn't seem to be any other um things that it's updated other than those two so uh, anyway i hope this is useful this is grvo tv g's reviews views and opinions i'll see you soon bye